What is the truth behind the alleged plan to sell off the Ceylon Petroleum Corporation? As per the cabinet paper that was produced in May of 2022, the selection was made following a technical committee, procurement committee and energy committee assessment. The energy committee and the procurement committee had recommended to award licenses to Sinopec and United Petroleum that is operating in both New Zealand and Australia and RM Parks of USA and Mexico in a collaboration with Shell PLC. The agreement with the CPC is not for filling stations owned by the CPC, but for 450 dealer-operated filling stations. There is absolutely no issue if the people of Sri Lanka are allowed to purchase fuel without any shortage and at a reasonable price. If three more foreign companies are allowed to enter Sri Lanka's fuel retail market, who will decide the prices? According to the Ceylon Petroleum Cooperation Act of 1968 and the Petroleum Products Special Provisions Act of 2002, the power to decide on the prices is vested with the subject minister. Yet how many times did IOC decide on the fuel prices as per their own wish after they entered into the Sri Lankan fuel retail market? Most of the time, the fuel prices of Sipetco and Lanka IOC were not at the same level. So, what assurance can be given to the people that fuel will be available without any shortage and at a reasonable price after three new companies enter the Sri Lankan fuel retail market? <laughs> But what is the fuel price formula that is implemented in Sri Lanka? Who is aware of it? A gazette should have been published when the fuel price formula was introduced. So where is this gazette? Minister, it is true that prices are gazetted every month, but what is the formula that determines the price? What are the factors that determine the price? Will the three new companies decide the price according to the method that you say? There will be greater relief for the people because of the competitive atmosphere. They import directly from their parent companies and not from separate parties. Minister, why does the Indian oil company sell oil at a higher price than Sipetco prices on many occasions? We are asking these questions because there is a risk that the real issues will be suppressed based on a trade union strike. However, the minister did not give an opportunity to the media to clarify these issues. <laughs> The issue of New Fortress was raised here because it is important. The minister might not recall but the founder and the national organizer of his own party and then finance minister Basil Rajapaksa gave his full blessing to sign an agreement with New Fortress USA. At the time it was said that it was a great opportunity to provide electricity at a subsidized rate. According to the agreement, Sri Lanka should be receiving electricity via an LNG power plant right now. This is because Sri Lanka is in possession of several combined cycle power plants that can generate electricity using LNG. Minister, what really happened with New Fortress? Where is the electricity that was to be given at a low price? That is why we are raising these questions on behalf of the people. If three new companies enter Sri Lanka's fuel retail market, will the people get fuel at a reasonable price without any shortages? What would happen if they decide on the price on their own, 
and even decide to suspend distribution, citing that they cannot provide fuel at the stipulated price. We have plenty of past experiences. There is, however, another question. What are these companies? This is a plan orchestrated by the minister and the government. The process of selecting the foreign companies was not disclosed. Who are the local agents of these companies? They have not disclosed the shareholding of the US, Australian and Chinese companies, namely RM Parks, United Petroleum and Sinopec. Their assets have not been made public. The government has not made public with whom they will be dealing with. In Geneva, it was made clear that the politicians made Sri Lanka bankrupt. Many international organizations have called for the looted assets, especially from foreign loans, to be recovered. These companies are being brought to launder money that was looted by those politicians from foreign loans. No disclosure has been made with regard to the local representative. In addition to the 450 filling stations, another 50 more are to be constructed. 9 billion rupees in profits were made by supply and fuel to the 450 filling stations. Moreover, no disclosure has been made on the process of avoiding filling stations. If a strike took place, the minister is the reason for it. Rane Vikramasinghe is putting forward an IMF document that no one has seen to do what no other government has done before. Can a country be governed like this? Who has given Rane Vikramasinghe the power to do so? According to Article 40, Sub-Article 1A of the Constitution, any person so succeeding to the office of the President shall hold office only for the unexpired period of the term of office of the President vacating office. Rane Vikramasinghe is a succeeding President. So should he implement the UNP policies or the vistas of prosperity and splendor? Rane Vikramasinghe has the support of 134 MPs. However, instead of looking at the loss-making SOEs, a list has been prepared with over 120 profit-making SOEs. And these are to be auctioned. What moral right does President Rane Vikramasinghe and the government have to do so? I wish to ask the same from Prime Minister Dinesh Gunavardhana. Dinesh Gunavardhana, Mama Hanava, Sarama and the Dinikir. This was the response of the Frontline Socialist Party. Ranil Vikramasinghe is doing the same thing that he did before. In 2001, he came into the office of the Prime Minister through the back door and tried to destroy everything through Pubudamu Sri Lanka. The people chased him away in two years. In 2015, he established a minority government and then became Prime Minister through the back door again. At the next general election, he secured power. But he suffered a humiliating defeat at the next election. Now he has come into power even without an election and is trying to do what he couldn't do in the past. We believe that the people need to get involved in defeating this.